What is asthma? Asthma, from a medical perspective, is a disease of the respiratory system, which causes swelling and narrowing of the airways. Common symptoms of asthma include coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest pain, or pressure. According to the National Health Interview Survey of the year 2009, currently there is 7.1 million children in the United States that are affected with asthma. So how does asthma affect a specific community such as the north end of Springfield? You know the overall percentage of students at the school who have an asthma condition? Um, right now I'm guessing about 12%. 12% of the school population right now. It all depends. Sometimes kid would bring in inhalers okay. um, to school for us to be given to us um, by the school nurse. Um, other times they, it's from parent history mm. and sometimes it is from on a physical or from a physician. problema porque cuando llueve mucho eso se inunda a las paredes le dan mo uh -huh. y yo sé que eso no es bueno para los niños amáticos o para cualquier otro niño porque eso no es algo saludable uh -huh. pero hasta ahora ellos están tratando de arreglar eso o no sé cómo vaya a funcionar si lo logran arreglar o cómo Well, I know that in the past, um, DPH have been in here several times, um, looking at the building as a whole, mm. um, because so many parents have complained, it's the building, it's the building. So I know that they've done a lot of testing, they've done a lot of things. Um, most definitely so. We have some kids that that really do have um, chronic asthma and they miss a lot of school. Um, and then we have some kids that have it that, you know, um, never miss school. It is important to note that asthma is one of the leading causes of missed school days in the United States. In the year 2003, an estimated 12.8 million school days were missed by children due to asthma. Um, and with that, that's why it's very important that we um, implement the asthma action care plans that physicians are supposed to fill out when a kid does have asthma and have medication in school. We always um, will try to get that because it helps us better understand where the child is at for, for their asthma. Through the American Lung Association, they have different programs for different levels, grade levels of um, kids. Um, so those programs are implemented. Or sometimes we, um, a lot of times we do a lot of a lot of one-on-one -on -one, um, with children because sometimes kids will come down wheezing, coughing, um, parents aren't aware of it, and we suggest mm -hmm. to get follow-up with physician. And a lot of times that's how it's picked up as well. Yo no he vivido eso de, con mis nenas de ataque de asma, mm -hmm. pero no sé si lo pasase, no sé cómo combatirlo así tan rápido. Mm -hmm. Lo único que yo siempre ando con la pompa de ellas en mi cartera, uh -huh. si pasase algo, pues eso es lo primero que haría. As far as putting in new filters, cleaning out the ventilation systems, um, changing the rugs, um, doing an overall clean of the whole school. Me gustaría que arreglen eso, que es algo que es lo más que la escuela tiene problemas, porque esto es una escuela bien grande y sería bien difícil perder la escuela por no arreglar eso, porque son son muchos niños los que se quedarían sin espacio, porque no hay tantas escuelas acá en en el norte. Hedrona is an important landmark for the north end of Springfield. The community's concerns should be heard and action should take place to ensure the safety of the community at large and the prevention of asthma.